Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, sometimes known as a Japanese lover as well. But right now we're playing as Japan, obviously, and we're having a good time beating up some Chinese as well as beating up some Americans. What could be better than that? But Carson City, thank you very much, in which we gotta help our little friends over in the Pacific States of America. But happy 1937, everyone. Hope you're having an okay year. Uh, America's not doing so well, but eh, you know what? That's okay sometimes. That's definitely okay. A little bit of a struggle usually doesn't hurt people. Unless, well, unless you're really fighting a real war, so. Regardless, okay, whatever. We've got a couple comments to go through as well. So, someone recommends that we shall make, or should make, Jap Japan. The Empire of Japan. Great. So, oh, there goes Alaska. Leadership, or leaders often find themselves temporarily alone. Can I take you over? Actually, hold on. Ernest Gruening. Alright, um, the Alaska, Alaska, the last frontier, the last straw, our first great test, versus those with loaded guns. I think it was Alaska sometime. Oh, no. What is... American Indian Federation. Is that Anne Rhine? Rand? What, whatever her name was? The Master Plan. Indigenous Economics. Red Man's Company. Red Man's Burden. What the heck? The true Red Braves. Um... 99 million avenged. Foreign rule. Armed forces. I need, I need to play as Alaska. I'm not sure how you actually play as this group, but... Wow. This looks like a lot of fun. I need to play as Alaska sometime. Cool. But, let's beat them up in San Francisco. Because we don't like San Francisco. Hey, Marines versus Marines. This is awkward. Ando versus Lucian. Goodbye, Lucian. Your Marines. Your legation... Legation Marines. They're no match for the Japanese Marines. No match. And more divisions. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, uh, now we're losing here. God darn it. They keep stacking more divisions here. Oh, I told you guys to attack anyways. Well, as long as the Chinese are attacking, they're doing well against the Chinese. That's kind of okay, but just kind of hold on for now. we got to get a little bit more strength up here. How about we do this? We'll attack here, maybe, next. Mm, maybe. We'll see. Give them some more time to recoup their uh, strength. Looking good. And we're currently doing military centrism. Or military centralism. Oh, my sword. So, restorationist coup attempted. Earlier today, restor restorationist junior officers from the units in the Tokyo area have staged a new coup d'etat. In the early morning, 1,400 officers and enlisted soldiers embarked on missions, missions to seize control of key communications and administrative facilities. The Army Ministry, the General Staff Office, the Metropolitan Police Headquarters, and the Prime Minister's uh, official residence, as well as the Imperial Dai Building, were all quickly captured in the Imperial Palace went under siege. After the Emperor explicitly denounced the Putschists, the Navy mobilized Marine divisions to rescue the palace and by the evening the coup was crushed. Thank goodness for the Navy. The centralists win. The Restorationist coup has been defeated. Branded traitors. The Restorationists are being purged all over the country. There are calls for the army to assume a greater role in government to uproot out both traitors and syndicalists. No need for this right now. Oh, we remove Eastern Democracy. We have Eastern Democracy? Oh, I'll get some good from that. Um, Paternal Autocracy. Army Minister Hayashi will assume the premiership. So we become paternal autocratic anyways. Uh, there's no need for this right now. Um, we'll have army dominance if that guy leads. Which might not be bad. Political blueprint? Cool. Does this affect anything down here? Not, none of that stuff. Land reform, support the Zaibatsu. Nationalization. And bureaucratic stuff. So no, it doesn't really look like it. So that's kind of good actually. Uh, army Minister, I like that extra stability down here. There's no need for this right now. I'll brew up traders and syndicalists. If we don't do that, then it seems like we might get counter coup eventually. I like that extra 10% stability, though. That could be really beneficial. Take, ta, tate, kawa, uh, fuji, and goldo. Oh. Oh, crap. I don't know which one we want. Well, we're going to be an Eastern democracy anyway. Ah, oh, just do it anyways. Why not? Hey, Rohito's still here. Yay. Yay. We love Hirohito. Oh, the Rising Sun. Oh, yes, please. Oh, Daily Political Power Gain. Oh, yes. Oh, I want that. I definitely want that, but a political blueprint would not, would not be bad. We have to be a war for more Daily Political Power and less supply consumption. As well as this one for even more population, which would be very beneficial. As well as consumer goods. Oh, this is so nice. But let's get some more political power. Politics at home, be what it may. The Empire of the Rising Sun is a world stage to dominate. Our armies stand ready to head the Emperor's call, and our people will gladly sacrifice all of necessary for our glory. With the world focused on the American Civil War, the only question is where? Oh, we're actually slowly losing this, are we? That kind of sucks. Uh, but 
If we keep attacking, they can't get any more organization, and we will win eventually. So, so I recommend we try out this spiritual PSA, which I'm not sure what that is. A spiritual PSA? I do want to try out the PSA someday, because I've yet to try them out. Um, I know oh, it's Emperor Norton. Can you can win here, or he he can become the leader of this you know PSA? National Democrats elected, and they are authoritarian de Democrats. Media regulation demand Canadian tribute, punish Hawaii, Mexican border raids, California dreaming. That's kind of cool. American festivals investigate the GOP, tribunal for gangsters. You have the Democrats elected with self-regulation, Hayes Code. And then you have Republicans elected, soften regulation, a new liberal era. We've got some interwar artillery. The Republican Democrats elected, which is kind of weird. Um, Labor Relations Act. And then you have Progressives elected. Wealth taxation, new nationalism. Huh. As well as Commonwealth victory. Commonwealth of labor. Interesting. Cool. There's so many different paths you can take, which I, which I do enjoy. I like that a lot. Uh, I love mods that gives you a lot of different options about what you want to do in your campaign. I love it so much. Cool. We can probably... Eh, Legation Council. We can probably close this one, though. There you go. Not much else is going on. Kind of hanging out. Actually, we're getting attacked. Interesting. Oh. Wow. This... Ooh, you were having... You were still having a time over here. Cool. Other comments included. Uh, apparently, substance abusers can actually ha have a chance to die. So, I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Well maybe, well, maybe it's not cool, but it's not good. For at least a substance abuser. Who knew drugs could kill? Nice, we went over here. Good. Oh, this is long and snaky. It'd be best if we could do something like that to help them out. Bharti, Kami, and Princely Federation. Honestly, I just want to take India for myself. Like, I don't like those guys. The Princely Federation is probably the best bet that we have, but it looks like they're going to be dying anyways. And I already have sent volunteers to two other groups, so I don't really feel like helping anyone else. It is what it is, you know. Uh, Air Force, Navy, Army, weapons manufacturers. Soft attack is not bad. I love soft attack. Chief of Staff. Artillery, more max entrenchment, more infantry divisions. You get slightly more population. We're currently on limited conscription, which is not bad. Maybe naval stuff? Naval stuff would not be bad. But plane stuff is... Oh, it's 37. We already sent Marines out, and we sent horses out. Hmm. Chief of Army. This is okay for more defense if you need it. Less supply consumption is something I really want, but more attack is really good as well. I never know what to choose. I never know. Soft attack and defense. Uh, this one, I'm not going to choose this one. Uh, we have Osaka, Army, Arsenal. I love that artillery. Mm. Infantry equipment. Everyone uses infantry equipment. But we're also going to be using a lot of this as well. Research speed, artillery. Overall, there's more things we can research for infantry equipment, but I'm going to go with artillery, I suppose. Just because I have an artillery problem. I know I do. It's just too good to not use. Uh, horses. You guys don't have artillery. Actually, um, we're doing okay there. Do the Marines have artillery? No, give the Marines artillery to help beat up some American divisions. That's more important for now. That's definitely more important. Oh, and there goes those guys. Yeah, that's definitely more important to help the Marines. Because the American divisions are stronger than your average Chinese division. So. We're also building some more civvies because we definitely need more civvies here. Oh, boy. The world is quite the mess. But then again, you could say that for about any decade, probably. Oh, the comments. Let's see. Do Burgundy and TNL because they might get an update. I did not know they were going to get an update sometime. So maybe, eventually. You know, I'm not opposed to it. Russia announces her ambitions. Very good for you guys. Very, very good. Are we actually losing here? Huh. But keep getting us that, get, keep getting us that army XP. We could really use it. More RT. More, more RT. Don Republic join the Reich. Spect, cool. Support given light tanks. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad for light tanks. Not bad. We need more naval bombers. We need more tactical bombers. But what else is new? All right, they stopped attacking. That's good. And then they start attacking once again. Cool. Construction speed. Go, go, go. Better tanks are bueno. Thank you. Oh, that sucks. We, we didn't even get over here. Wow. Look at that attrition. Oh, boy. Wow. Desert and mud. God, fighting the Rockies is so bad. There's some mountain ranges over here. Oof. Oh, what's this? Hello? Salt Lake City. Oh, that's a capital. That's nice. Oh, Chicago's not looking too good. I need to play the CSA again sometime. Cool. Another comment says, Try the Democratic path for Japan eventually. So, we'll see. 
Uh, I will play as maybe Japan Democratic Path someday, but we'll see what happens. Even though the army minister refused to support the coup, he made no effort to stop the plot. The plot interpreted this as a sign of permission and proceeded. This morning, the coup forces seized the Metropolitan Police Headquarters, the Prime Minister's residence in the new Imperial Dive Building, but failed to occupy the Imperial Palace. Just to the surprise of the plotters, the Emperor resisted the coup d'etat and issued an Imperial command to suppress the rebels, sealing their fate. The coup forces sur surrendered without any resistance, and key conspirators were quickly caught, while some took their own lives before they could be arrested. Democracy has prevailed. Failed army coup in Tokyo. Cool. So if we didn't get the army guy in there, then we might have been cooed again. Wow, Japan is... You know, we may be the strongest power here in the East, but we have a lot of issues. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. We're looking okay, looking okay. We could do some ra radio, though. That'd actually be pretty beneficial for us. Yeah, we're not looking too good over here. Hmm. We just need a bigger industry. Uh, and other comments included, uh, pop it as much as possible. We'll see. I kind of want to just take all of China, if possible. And maybe, like, Siam and other places like that. But, ooh, the Rising Sun's done. Good, good, good. Ooh, more stability's not bad. Ooh. Sai Shinron, Nan Shinron. Bring Philippines into the fold. Oh, wait. Expand, uh... Ooh. Created clay and pressure Hawaii. Philippines. Hmm. Host the Tokyo Conference. Start the Tokyo Conference election chain? I'm not sure what that does. Maybe we want to wait for that? Haku Ichiyu. Japan's correct direction on the world stage has long been debated between military scholars and ideologues alike, but all agree, is it is all the world not better when it's under one roof? Let's take the stability. That'd be very nice. Fuel refining is going to be extremely important for us. Get some more cap first, though. Because currently we get how much a day? 470, which is not enough. Chile and Argentina war. Jeanette, uh, we announce our ambitions. Very nice, very nice. Ah, 10 more army makes me good. Well, since you guys are here already... Get some arty on you and feel really good about yourselves. There you go. It won't require that much artillery, so that's pretty good. We need more guns, though. Unfortunate. But always... Always a thing. A thing? A thing. And how are we looking over here in the States? Hmm, Patagonia, huh? Well. Alright, then. Where's the next capital? Is it, like, Arizona somewhere? or? Ah, Helena. Okay. I've never been up to that part of Montana. I've been up to like this part. Maybe not. Maybe not Billings. Hmm. Well, this cup of coffee I have is pretty good. Oh, okay. Crisis on the Danube. Oh boy. Kind of ballsy, but good luck. Oh man. Ando's not doing so great right now, but that's okay. Keep learning. That's the most important thing. Bhutan is capitulated. Goodbye, Bhutan. Ooh. Did you guys actually win there? Swedish Commie joined the Third International. Okay. If it keeps dropping, I'm going to tell them no more. 55. Um, the main goal for me is here. is for everyone to learn more. So, Spanish Civil War. Spain has fallen far. Oh. Well, there goes the Princely Federation. Goodbye, Princely Federation. Nice. Support Warlord Allies. Divide and Conquer. So in key chaos, a whole bunch. Which would piss off Feng Xian, dismantle the Galatian cities. Uh, hmm. Went up to projects. Recruit collaborators, Chinese soldiers. Burn to ash strategy. We get more attack, but way more resistance growth. That's probably not worth it at all. That's really probably not worth it. Let's do a political blueprint. After assumption of power, we were expected to draw a national political plan reflecting our military's ideology. In the following weeks, the Supreme Military Council will be meeting to discuss such a document. Good. Honestly, if you guys want to get out of here, there's a lot of people here, so go to, like, Hiroshima, and then go to, like, there, Osaka. They love attacking. They love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Make your horse, boys. Actually, don't make them a little bigger. I wanted to, but I don't want to throw logistic companies on the Marines, because it's so bad for attrition over there. So bad right now. Can you guys actually win here? Spanish Civil War, we could have up, but no, I don't feel like it. You guys are hanging out, having a good old time. If you want to move up, then... Oh, you actually won in Salt Lake City. Wow, okay. You guys are just kind of hanging out here for now. That's totally fine with me. Europe is looking kind of on fire a little bit. Fall of Madrid, oh boy. Wow, Hungary is... Oh. Oh, they're fighting all these guys. Well, that's not good. I guess that's why Poland went to war. That's not bad. That's pretty good then for... Uh... That's pretty smart for them to do so. That's their only chance of doing well, but they might just die in the process. Well, that's maybe an okay thing. 
Oh, Mexico joined the Third International, huh? Ah, oh, screw it. Just stay down here. All right, at that point, you could probably just go there. There you go. Cut that division off. Nice. Canada's gone and done. You should be able to win here. You got slightly more artillery, which would be nice. And a political blueprint is almost done ourselves. Good. Grand plan. On the fundamental principles of national structure. Uh, the fundamental principles of national structure is a 156-page pamphlet produced by the Ministry of Education to establish an official description of the Kokutai, or the national structure. It can also be translated as national essence or national polity, etc. The pamphlet officially enshrines the emperor as a living god, according to the legend of the goddess Amarat Amaratusu, an unbroken era of a line of emperors. Bansai Kai. To serve the divine emperor, his subjects were required to cast themselves aside for the social harmony wall and for the prosperity of Japanese culture. To some extent, the pamphlet is responsible to criticism or response to criticism of the centralist neo shogunism. This is the way we should go forward. Nice. Now, I want to do that one later on, but we can't do it just yet. And this is going to be very beneficial. Minus 10% consumer goods? Yes, please. The Fund Adjustment Ordinance is the first of a series of national defense ordinances decreed by the centralist regime. The state-owned Bank of China is now empowered to regulate capital investments, establishment of companies, and the subscription or underwriting of securities. This will allow the government to control and allocate funds to war industries. Oh, sign us up. This is Oh, look at that. They've been cut off. Oh, everything down here has been cut off. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, yes, please. Let's ruin our attrition some more. What is the attrition like here? Oh my god, it's a mountain and it's very hot. Oh goodness gracious. Oh they join oh we should have oh they joined the Entente. Oh, that sucks. Well, we might go to war with the Entente. we'll see what happens. We'll we'll literally see what happens, you know, later on. I mean yeah, Hawaii would have been nice, but I don't really care too much, I'll be honest. Cool. And we're currently producing roads, which is not necessarily a bad thing. We do, could get some more chromium, but... Mm, keep building factories. Factories are so much more important to build right now. Oh, look at that. Good job, guys. Oh, now we can just focus on the Marines. That's nice. Disperse Industry 2. Let's grab some more fuel. Like, fuel is so... Un un just so important. Just so important. I'm not sure what else to say. Just just so important. So. But at least he's learning, hopefully. He's... He's good on everything except attack. Look at that. One, three, three, three. Oh my goodness. But after this focus, what should we all take? National draft ordinance? More factory output? Sure. The National Service Draft Ordinance is a new act which encourages or enables the government to mobilize the labor force even in peacetime and additionally removes several barriers that delay such mobilizations. The new ordinance will improve our peace and wartime output, which would be nice in a corporate state, which I want to get to, but our national R&D facilities. If we can get a fifth research slot, that's so good. That's so good, man. Eight days left. Hey, Western Command Center's gone. Good job, guys. Good job. The world is pretty much falling apart. And I do want to get involved more in China. I really want to get involved more in China, so. Uh, Marine, since you are in the mountains. I don't know why I put you there, but whatever. Ha! See, support oh, That's good enough. Uh, logistics. You need logistics here. It's too god-awful to fight here without logistic companies and less supply consumption. Hey! Wait, what, what, what? Wait, hold on. Wait, why'd they give up? Wait, what the heck? Is this a bug? This doesn't make any sense. Wait, why'd they peace out? I like the green bonuses for that, but... That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. I guess we'll do this one next... Uh, why? Can we get more stability sent in the army? We'll probably want to send in the army. Yeah, yeah. We could really use more of this. No, this one. Stability. Weekly stability will be good. And I'll get some more propaganda too. That's not bad. Anqing recognizes Feng Xian as the rightful national government of China. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Get more fuel. I'm all about that fuel right now. Fuel, 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 fuel. Well, oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. If that's the case, uh, we need to build roads. We really do need to build roads up here. You know what? We'll finish off the roads here first, and then we'll build some synthetic refineries. It gets slightly more rubber, but really more fuel. I don't like this. Like, we won here. Or technically, the PSA did win, but you should be able to just put him annex him, annex him between the American Union State and the PSA, so they can keep pushing. Because right now, because even though like these guys will be building themselves up a little bit more when everyone else like is finished killing each other, this this could really hurt them. Like just standing here waiting here. Yeah, I know it's not good to uh, just you know be at war constantly, but as in the American Civil War, if you take over states and you hold it for a while, they just become your cores. So yeah. It's good. There's good and bad when 
something like this happens, but still, it's not good. Legation City uh, Council expands operations. The Legation Council has recently renewed its focus on expanding the profits of free trade for all its member states. They've encouraged Chinese manufacturers to lower the prices, promising them to com compensate in other ways, while they have encouraged other middlemen to lower tariffs as well. As such, our businesses are now reaping the fruits of Chinese labor. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. On Xing, we like you somewhat. Yeah, we actually like you quite a bit. Love them. And let's go and grab some radar, just because I would like to throw the radar on ships. And I really do hope we get in some more uh, battles here. Some naval battles, I should say. Alright, so after this one, as much as I want to get that fifth research slot as fast as possible, we can get it in 105 days. If we do this, Shai Shin Ron, and we can support these guys, I want to influence Chinese warlords. With Russia not a threat across the Amur River and the Americans embroiled in a civil war, the time has come to fulfill our destiny. China's weak, corrupt, and divided must be led into the modern age under the guidance of Japan. If the Chinese don't agree, then we shall simply have to teach them a hard session about defiance. Oh, they're actually going back to war, huh? Oh, you guys are back. Well, I don't agree with that, but whatever. Not my place to talk about that stuff. Why do we... Why do they, but why do they come back for a second time? I mean, don't get me wrong. I like beating up enemies. But at the same time, why? Good luck, guys. Good luck. Well, actually, you're going to move that much. Eh, you're already moving anyways, whatever. Uh, Feng Xin blames us for the silver crisis. Feng Xin has loudly denounced our government, citing what they call a deliberate plot to destabilize the government through the very eruption of the recent er silver crisis. Citing the in incidental request from both the Bank of Japan and Mitsu Bank. <clears throat> Come on. Uh, for repayment on loans backed by Feng Xin's silver reserve. With the reserve apparently containing far less than the Feng Xin government claim, its economy is spiraled out of control as the government loses credibility by the hour, and it seems likely that this crass and foolish attempt to deflect blame is mostly a reaction to their internal political situation. All the same, we can deny these ridiculous assertions or assertions, but we also can let this grave insolence go unpunished. False accusations. Punish the insolence. False accusations. I don't want the... You know what? I was, I was debating whether we should, like... Keep them down and keep them with us, or we should just like just don't care about them and just like abuse them as much as possible. I think you know what we'll try to keep them in with us as much for as long as possible. I think that'd be an okay thing to do. Oh, good. Um, we can't go to war economy yet, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, Transmira cuts ties with us. The Transmirian government has decided to cut ties with us. They sent our delegation back, stopping the trade and isu are issuing that we should expel our garrisons. Well, Transmira is becoming strong and strong. We should take it back by force or whatever. Now or never. Declare war? Oh, heck yeah. I was expecting to go to war with Korea next, but okay. Alright, the two marine divisions that are still here, get ready to go. Vladivostok, here we come. Hello? Hmm. Thought I heard something. Hmm, we need one here. Uh, I guess technically you could just do this. We gotta buy some fuel for this then. Hmm, American Union state, Pacific states. We'll go to the Pacific states, help them out a little bit more. There you go. And everyone stop training, go home. Oh, what the heck? No, 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 no. Stop it. Blockade everything they have. I mean, except for that one, that's fine up there. Korean exile is looking for foreign banking or backing. The Korean government in exile has struggled along for a long time alone, building up minor support. However, the growing instability of Japan may give them a chance to return to Korea. We received word they are putting out feelers for a strong ally to help them in their fight for independence. Troubling. That is not good. And don't tell me they're going to rebel right now. Oh boy. Go, go, go. Oh, we don't have you guys coming in here with us, huh? The Korean problem. The Korean government exiles announced a campaign to free the countries in motion that are calling for support. Keep our eyes and ears open. Go straight on in, guys. Go, 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 go. We gotta at least take Vladivostok first. And then once these guys rebel, and then we'll come back in here and just kill them off. Uh, you're not ready yet? Yeah, two more days. Six more days left. That's fine. Uh, go with scavenger, because we're gonna need a lot of equipment. We're gonna need a lot, 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 lot of equipment. Are they doing last stand? Or are they just sucky? They might just be sucky. Yeah, they're just sucky. There you go. We still have no fuel, but that's all right. Oh, they have some planes over here, huh? All 
Oh, and the Marines are back. And Vladivostok has been captured. Or surrounded completely. There you go. Killed it off. Nice. Fall of Vladivostok. Let's support the Warlord allies. Many Chinese warlords are lining up to bow down and receive Japanese power to back them up like the old Marshal did. We should oblige them and ensure they're well equipped to our proxies in China. Hey, it's a fleet here, but even though we have no fuel. Wow. This is why you don't mess with Japan. Oh, we just sunk their fleet. We just sunk their, you know, their capital ships. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, I, I love naval battles. Like, I love it so much. I don't fully understand naval battles. I don't even fully understand combat. But I, what I do is what I know what works. And this is just beautiful. Of course, we did death stack it, so. Two, you know, battleships, two cruisers, 11 destroyers, a carrier, or convoys. Ah, oh, it's so nice. I just love beating up enemy ships. It's just so much fun. All right. I didn't give you guys orders. Um, you guys are just going to do something like that. Oh, they're taking over the Scalian Islands. Oh! The Marines are up here. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, horses, go over there, I guess. That's fine. And actually, if Korea's going to rebel, come down here again. Just, just, just in case, you know. No reason, just, just in case. Oh, okay. Well, good luck with that, guys. How many have we killed off? 14,000? That's not too many. That's alright, though. Oh, there's stuff down here, too. Oh, that's not good. There you go. Oh, that sucks. We lost a convoy, but whatever. Um, Just go straight up for the capital. Kharbarovsk? Kabarovsk. Kabarovsk. Whatever it is. Ah, the final nails and being nailed. I love being nailed. Hmm. We actually have a little bit of fuel. Look at that. Even more fuel. Love it. Nice. Rubber it is. Nice. Get them, get them, get them. We've lost less than 6,000. Oh, never mind. Now we're 6,500. Not bad. 7,000 losses. Oh, we keep losing convoys. That does not help us. 7,000. Let's say 10,000 versus 20,000 ish. Or right, take the next capital. Oh, man. Well, maybe not. We'll have to keep going then. That's fine. Armenia's gone. Fall of Burgos. Cool. Venezuela. Okay. Where's the capital? Is it over here? Is it Kamchat Kamchatka? No. Kamchatka. Cheat. Oh, cheetah. Oh, my goodness. How many warlords do you have, son? Some of you guys are looking really weak for some reason. Hey, but you know what? This... Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, let's get this done. Let's get this done. Come on. Let's not push too hard because we do want to get this one done. National Total Mobilization Ordinance. The National Total Mobilization Ordinance is designed to provide the government a means to control and mobilize all the resources and manpower available in the Empire. During wartime, we will have full control over the labor of supply, production of goods, financial institutions, industrial and labor organizations, as well as prices and the press. Yes, even less supply consumption, good. Conscription prices in Quebec, good for you. And how many divisions? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is that about? Uh, the town has finally come to transform Japan into a unified and strong corporate state where every individual does his part for the good of the emperor and the Kotoku Tai. Whoa, 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 whoa. The government collapsed. The Russian armies invaded trans and we have nothing left to do but withdraw our garrisons. Our business interests in trans are now unprofitable and detrimental. Too bad. Go to hell, J Russia. I almost said Japan. What the heck? What the heck? Are you kidding me? Seriously, are you kidding me? That, to me, that's just, that's a straight-up declaration of war. T taking out what we've earned over here. Oh, I'm, I'm going to kill Russia. By the end of this campaign, we're going to kill Russia. That is stupid. 100% stupido. Restore Russian, Russian voting rights? Pfft. With what they just did? Hell no. For years, the Russian Boys and Legation Council has been split between our Admiral, Ally, Kolchak, State of Transamir, and the Russian Democratic Federative Republic. Now that Transamir is no longer a position to claim to be the Russian government, the Chair of Legation Council has decided that St. Petersburg voting rights should be restored. While Russia is undoubtedly a great threat to our nation, perhaps it could be harnessed as a weapon against German influence, we will vote with care? No. <laughs> Abstentions? Good. No. Popular for incident. 446 left-wing academics, intellectuals, and politicians, including two incumbent Diet members, were arrested and indicted under the National Security Act today. All were secured or excused of organizing a popular front and threat to the Koku Tai. Well sorted, right? Good. Very good. You know what? Uh, this currently gets us 0.4. Screw it, I'm going to do this one too. 
Get slightly more political power, slightly more stability and stuff, so. Or just more, slightly more political power for later on. Is it worth it? Probably not, no, but whatever. Yeah, I'm going to kill Russia off by the end of this campaign. After what they just did? No. A thousand times no. There will be no peace between us and uh, those pesky little Russian bugs. We beat them, up, or we beat them once, we beat them again. Let's get some more fuel. Maybe I can send the Marines back to... Oh, these guys are looking pretty good. Looking pretty good for these guys. Alright. Oh, Charles Martin. Who the heck is that? The vote fails. The most recent vote in the Gation Council has failed by a narrow margin. It cannot be proposed again. Interesting. Good. To hell with you, Russia. Good. Kill them off. Um, how do we get more involved with these guys? I'd like to get more involved. One corporate state. National mobilization law. Do we need to do that one? What is over here? Divide and conquer. Uh, one of the following must be true. Country is something, something, something. Come on, come on, come on. Huh. Un Stanberg defeats Mongol rebels. Oh. We'll go to war economy. I like that. The war in China promises to be an immense undertaking that will tax us to the limit. We must ensure that the people are ready to bear the burden of warfare of this grand type of scale. And here we are at in January, late January, 1938, in which, well, Santa Fe is not looking too good in the Western Command Center. But that's all right. Oh, this is already New Mexico. Look how well the PSA is done. My goodness. They're quite quick. Quite quick. And let's grab some computing machine because that's pretty nice stuff to get. And some... Oh, Marines. That's a little... Here, here, here. Let's grab some more soft attack, shall we? Cool. Oh, sucks to be this part of America. It sucks. Gotta be a little hot down there, doesn't it? Oh, Dutch East... Oh. Dutch East Indies, you say? Another division, you say? Uh, let's see if we can make the Marines maybe a little bit better... What happens if we do that? Uh, 17, and we'll need one more here as well. Way more artillery, but breakthrough goes up a little more. Defense goes down slightly. You get 49 more soft attack. Jesus, that's so good. I love soft attack so much. Still need more guns, though. Still need way more guns. What are we building up right now? Just roads. That is not ideal. 70%, 80%. There you go. 2, 2. And throw one more over here. And we've got to start making some more military factories. That'll be good. Build some refineries, too, because we could really use them. Because we're still training our ships. Go figure. Waiting for these guys to keep killing each other. Assyria, Yunnan clique. What's going on over here? Uh, they don't really care for us too much. Does anyone really like us down here? The federal government does not. We like these guys, though. So once these guys go fight someone else, like we'll be, we'll be kind of okay with that. Oh, rebellion in Korea. Oh, no! Today, several groups of Korean rebels attempted to take and hold several key points throughout the peninsula. Luckily, they had few weapons and were highly disorganized. Having failed to convince any of the local Korean garrison troops to join them, they stood no chance against the Japanese soldiers. Their leader, Kim Koo, has been captured and will be executed for treason. Some say with foreign backing, they might have been able to put up a stronger fight. But whatever the case, they've been crushed and the situation is under control. We are ever vigilant. Nice. We lose some stability. Actually, I wanted them to rebel. So this way, I could get the uh, focuses done and get that extra loss of pocket consumption, more daily political power. Nan Shin Ron, we must do that. For all its strengths, Japan has a key strategic disadvantage in its dependency on foreign oil. In the pursuit of self-reliance and security against ever-encroaching Western imperialism, surely it would be both wise and just and just to acquire the resources for ourselves. In doing so, what in our sphere of security? Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that naval XP, not bad. Now we're kind of waiting for these guys to go fight these guys, and that's why I sent the Marines over, because we have to fight over a river. But in the mountains, that kinda sucks. Anyone else we can send volunteers to? I guess technically the Mongol Khan, but I don't feel like it. Uh, do we like anyone here in Spain? The Kingdom of Spain will probably join the Entente. No, they'll, no, they'll join the Reich's Pact. The Carlos will join maybe the Entente, maybe. Oh, we can, how about the Kingdom of Spain, maybe? Since we do have some more soldiers, we can send. Uh, you, uh, you guys. And. I'll send you Muto. We love horses. All right, so I'll make you guys just bigger overall. Cavalry, cavalry. How much motorized do we have actually? Motorized. Eh, it's an okay amount. Not great. Make these guys twenty combo with at least. There you go. How much artillery do we have? Two hundred fifty-three. That would not be enough for us to change these guys. Ooh, volunteers from. The in the Insulindian Revolution. A revolt has flared up in the Dutch East Indies with a native population seeking to secure their independence from their Dutch overlords. Many of our countries feel connected to the Insulindian plight and want help. Shall we send a detachment of volunteers? Of course. Yeah, we, we way out of guns. That sucks. 
Uh, do we want to help him out down here? That actually might be a good thing to do then. Oh. Ostrovi's dying. Yeah, we'll send some volunteers. That's fine. Uh, not Muto Akira. Right? Uh... Nice. Nice. Cool. We sent a lot of volunteers all over the place. Feels like I just played here for some reason. Hmm. We're still getting a lot more fuel too, which is good. I love the fuel. Because we have no fuel at all. Kill those guys off, hopefully. Palembang. Indonesia. Because Malaysia is... Over here? Is it? Malaya. Yeah, Malaysia. Wow, that's... Just, oh my gosh, that's so good. Legation cities unilaterally restore British rights. The Legation Council was created in 1928. Uh... The UK naturally was given a seat on the council, however, since Germany and Japan refused to recognize Ottawa as a responsible British government, the British were only given observer rights. Now, however, it seems that the British influence in the cities is sufficient to get the council to reconsider restoring the British vote. The Austrian ambassador, rumored to have been bribed by the British, today raised the issue and was accepted by the High Commissioner without a vote. It seems the British are back on the council, and we weren't even consulted? Despicable. Absolutely despicable. It'd be good if we get Valencia. That would really be good, so... Ah, rubber processing, good. Good. Come back up here and grab some of this. Thank you. Oh, El Salvador joined the Liberal Pact. Someone joined or did well over there in Bulgaria. All right, then. Keep building, building, building. Not bad. East Sumatra. Oh, and you will be led by these guys. Hmm. I'm going to come down here, actually. We're going to protect against these guys down here. We don't want these guys... Oh, crap. That's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> you literally just got two... Oh, my goodness. Getting the AI to do stuff is just sometimes not smart. Come on. You're there. Good. Well, if you cut them off over here, that would not be bad. So keep moving in. And we could get in circle two, they keep getting attacked. And they go up that way too, which would not be very good. The Feng Shin denounces us. The iron ore deposits on Shan have been worked by the Japanese owned subsidiary of Montetsu. Monta Monta since 1918, known as Anshan Iron and Steel, serving as one of Japan's most viable resources, uh, sources of steel outside the home islands. Now the company wants to expand, it has barely begun digging without a permit, destroying farmland in the processes and triggering protests by the native Chinese. The protests escalated into violence and some led to some regrettably, regrettable actions by local garrison and the loss of life on the protesters' side. The Fang Chin government released a long-winded and not at all atypical denouncement of our actions. How should we respond? Punch insolence. Denounce Fang Chin. Stay silent. Hmm. Let's choose that one. Bring the Philippines into the th fold. Kind of want to do that one. Now that the Americans are gone, we can send our gunboats to secure the archipelago for the co prosperity sphere, and it brings stability to the islands, of course. The Filipinos might not see it that way. We love the Philippines. What do you mean? I should really send planes down here. Uh, let's see what planes. Eight, up to 80? We do have the planes from the uh, guys down here, so let's go down to 80. Cool. Should be pretty quick to get down there. Come on. Nice. Man, you guys really do suck. Holy crap. Um, hmm. Then retreat for now. Get out of there. Hold. Uh, I would recommend moving. Second popular front incident. Additional arrests of intellectuals were made today when 38 left-wing professors were arrested on charges of organizing a popular funk. How many reds are out there? Too many. All right, we still gotta get that extra research slot too. So, oh, we need to do this. Oh, Grand Battle Plan. Yes. Should have thought about that earlier. You let them coming in. That's fine. They're not too weak. Uh, is there else? Another way we can get into there. Hmm. Could we send these divisions and end up going, like, over here, maybe, to help these guys out, maybe? Or even around here, maybe? That'd be kind of nice. Go over there. Oh, well, that sucks. Um, let's send one of you guys down here, maybe, instead. Nice. 
train if you need to. Keep building, 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 building. Ah, uh, good, get some experience. Nice. Let them go over here, come up there, and then circle and destroy them, maybe. Ah, uh, that's what I like to see. How are the uh, Spanish volunteers doing? I've completely ignored them. Well, they're not doing anything, and you guys are just kind of hanging out. You're literally not doing anything over here, which is kind of okay with me. Kind of okay. I'm sure these guys have a lot of manpower. Dutch East Indies. Never mind. These guys have way more. Wow. And you guys are going to hopefully lose all that. Revolt in the Reich's Pact is not good for those guys. But hey, that's not us, so I don't really care. And for you guys, how's it looking? Joining combat with. They join the Entente. Logistics. Yeah, let's grab some logistics. Let them come around us. And maybe we can encircle them. If we can move a little bit faster. Gandhi takes power in the... Bharatiya Commune, come on. Oh, come on. You could have made it, son. You really could have made it. But keep attacking. Maybe they'll move up and we can circle them and destroy them. And then claim southern resource area. Claims begins to claim on Malaya, the East Indies, and all non-American Pacific islands, which aren't owned or by an ally or member of the economic sphere. Every single island... Well, I kind of want to wait. Let's, I want that extra research slot. So, National R&D Institutes. By funding National R&D Institutes, we can make it easier for independent research teams to work together, improving a research output, and allowing us to better direct national research projects, which is a very, very good thing. Very, very good. Uh, do we have any radar? We don't. Any better anti-air? No, we don't. Oh, that sucks. One. There we go. Um, cruiser holes. Yeah, these are not great. But by going to get another research slot, that would help us be able to... Actually, what do we have here? Uh, that stuff is really just not great. It would allow us to do some more naval stuff. That's what I'm trying to say. That's fine for now. Uh, actually, no. We're going to replace you with anti-air here. And then you guys do anti-sub stuff. There we go. That's a little, that's a little better. Nice. Uh, dude, right like that. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. So any more guns, though? The Philippines resist. The Philippines are resisting our demands without any foreign backers to come to the rescue. We should make them pay for this, this in blood. Okay, we're gonna have to go to war with them. Not bad, not bad. Repair. Uh, do this. Cool, get the Marines ready to go. And have the horses get ready to go as well. I didn't think we'd actually have to go to war with them, but okay. It's fine. Things happen, you know. Dagu Pond. It might be easier to get down here, actually. Manila might be a little bit too difficult to take out first. Alright, so let's give it a few more days. I want to make sure we can do all this stuff. Yeah, these guys are gonna have to. These guys are gonna go full, which is unfortunate. Can we double back this way as well? You should be able to get there. Yep, there you go. Nice. Very, very nice. You guys are getting over there, which is good. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Uh. If that's a case, let's take, do this. Take these guys off. You guys rebase here. And that should give you enough range to get down here. There we go. And go right ahead. Need more fuel. Always need more fuel. Serbia. What else? PSA? Yeah. Oh, no. No, not aluminum. Fuel. There you go, that should help us out a little bit more. Just a wee bit more. Daily gain, 4,400, still not enough. Are we still fighting down here? Oh, we can still see what's going on down there. Um, are you guys good to go? Almost. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Nepal. Oh, you have no organization. Well, that's not good. Can you guys actually win down here? That'd be really good if we could. Oh, this is going to suck. I hate invading the Philippines so much. Hold. we got to redo this. God dang it. Uh, so annoying. You guys are going to do the same thing, basically. But we're going to have the horses surround these guys, so. 
Uh, you guys just go right here to here, and you'll surround him and kill him off that way. And I'm going to take one, two as well. You go from here. You know that on this side. And then we can go a few more. We're going to go all the way down here, and then you two are going to land from here as well to here and here. We're going to take that port, a party, no matter what happens. You find anybody over there, you kill them. It would help if we had air superiority, though. But we don't have enough ships for that. Or, you know, range. Which sucks. You almost ready? Oh god, we have to wait so long for that. Hmm, Greek referendum, okay. Get the infantry over here. I want them to be completely ready by the time we need to go, so. Oh, the Black Revolt, huh. Now, I've not seen that one happen before. Huh. We're doing that. Yeah, let's get some anti air. That'd be good. So the car takes a while. That sucks for you guys. Ah, oh, W. W. E. B. Dubois. Okay. Yeah, I've never seen this focus tree yet. The Americanists, the Liberty Party, the Republican Victory, the Peace Party, the UNIA, the NOI, Nation of Islam, probably. Wow. Wait, hold on. Con conditional reintegration in the skies. The cause down south, join international, redeem Africa, reclaim the homeland. That sounds, sounds like kind of fun. The prophet? Wait. Gets a claim on Jerusalem. Huh. The one party. Peace party, spiritual... Neil Booker at machine. Veteran health care. Union state outreach. Huh. Socialist reformist, socialist party, industrial workers union, socialist vanguard, African blood brotherhood, defend the new state. Red Flood, if you'd like to read about this, please go right ahead. But there's not really much we can do about it. There you go, thank you. Yo, kill them. Kill every single one of these uh, people who do not like us. Oh, wait, hold on. We, we are at war, technically, so let's get this one done. We're already halfway through it, so that's, which is good. You guys, keep it up. Marines, you've got to keep going. There's no pausing here. Help them out. Cut them off. Cut them completely off. Oh, they don't like that. And we don't like them either. Strangle hold them. And they how many divisions? Two? Yeah, come on, cut them off, 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 cut them off. Move, 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 move. Would you move? Move, move! Come on. You're gonna have to force the attack. Oh my gosh, take stop taking so long. Good, 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 good. Kill these stupid divisions off. The Filipinos should not have resisted our rule, and they died, as they deserve to. Now I'm going to send the Marines off, and they're going to actually reinvade somewhere else. Uh, we'll have them invade Manila when we're ready for that. So there's that. Let the horses. Where are the horses? Um, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. There you go. There you go. Good. Must get joined the Entente. Good for them. Definitely need more guns. Oh boy. So that we've lost a thousand. They lost twenty-five thousand. Shouldn't be too bad for us. But let's keep moving, boys. Keep moving, 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 moving. And now they're not going to be able to stop us. Good. Oh, the Beijing government, huh? Shangxi. Good. Another convoy sunk. Love it. Uh, Marines, I don't know why you're going that way, but whatever. Help them out. You guys keep these guys at, at bay for now, probably. Help support the attack. Your way wins the World Cup. Very nice. I just need one of these two to win. Either one will, winning will help us out. Especially if we throw more soldiers here. Good. Let's grab some grand battle plan. Good. And radar. Because we can. And this is why I want the extra marines here. National R&D. That's good. And let's grab... Not that one. This one. I already read this, so we're going to do this one. Very good. And a fifth research slot. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Mm. That might not be bad to grab. Marines, Mountaineers. Uh, we could probably do Mountaineers. That would probably be pretty good. Oh, you guys all suck, don't you? Uh, Marines. I told... I gave both of you orders. So they have... 9, 13... 18 divisions on the line. This is literally their entire army, hopefully, on the line. Huh. If that's the case... Let's get uh, two over there, and we're going to invade... Right there. It's going to have to be a southern strike. And basically do the same thing, but you guys end up right... Eh, we have no one over here doing the stuff over here, so maybe right there. No, let's really need that. I'll go right there, that's fine. There you go, not bad. Alright, what else? Warp against the Philippines. We could probably use that. Ship designer is 38. Hmm. That's a fly consumption. Come on, Philippine divisions, attack us. See what you can do. I'd love to attack here, but... Oh, I ask and eh, we shall receive. 30, 30. Oh, we're going to have a lot of thousands of dead Filipino soldiers here. Oh, boy. <clears throat> yeah, guys, keep it up. What's their uh, division count like? Political reform? Oh, they're going to be running out of manpower hopefully soon. Stockpile, we're not really sure. 20,000. Yeah, they're going to be losing a lot of soldiers. That's going to give us a lot of army XP, which is good. And the longer we're at war, the, the faster we can hopefully get that one done. And no one will know. The Black Revolt? Well, so much for the Black Revolt. Now the car is definitely suffered because of that, but whatever. Oh, look at that. People died. Russia got involved, huh? Learning, learning. I love it. I hope you're loving it too. Oh, Philippine. You should have just accepted us. You'd have 55,000 more soldiers if you didn't do what you did to us, so. I kind of doubt the Marines could win down there, but we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah, you guys are going to have to go down there too, huh? You know what? Just let them do what they're doing. I'm kind of okay with what they're doing right now. And the faster we oh, do that, that's good. Military training curriculum. We might as well do this now since we're still at war, right? Military training was first introduced into the compulsory physical education curriculum in 1925 by the Tanaka regime as a way to uh, stop or subdue growing anti-militarist influence and discontent among students. It was continued with the constitutional restoration of 1926, but it is time to reverse that direction or decision. More recovery rate, which is good. Are these guys out of... No, they're not done attacking, which is totally okay with us. Political reform, and they're completely out of manpower. But they did just raise the conscription level, probably, so... Let them suffer. Let them suffer, for they want to suffer. If they want to suffer, let them suffer. Sounds like something... Sounds, it sounds like that should be in the Bible or something. We have carriers, so we're going to go with carriers for now, so... Good. Seriously, if they, just, if they really just want to die, I'm, I'm more than happy to oblige them right now. Hata, do you have anything for us? Or charismatic? Let's go with charismatic. Uh... How much is he learning? He's learning quite a bit, so we want to wait and save another trade slot for him. Not bad. Because after this, we will come in and just crush them. Oh, that's so sad. So sad. Bandit state, huh? Give another... Oh, no? Okay. Anyone else? No? We are approaching 100,000 dead Filipinos. Yeah, that's not looking good too, too good for them. They're probably out of uh, support equipment too, right? We don't have that much intel on them, obviously, but... Whatever. Uh, how are it's constructed for us? More... One thing of civvies. And one thing of millies. Because we need more military factories for sure. Uh, I'll do it right there instead. Good. And keep building up the, the refineries. We need them. Alright, let's go ahead. Everyone go ahead. Boom, boom, boom. We should be able to win here. Right, let's be real. With the, the amount of attacks that they've tried to do, like, we should be able to win. Damocles Project, very cool. Nice, good, 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 good. And our uh, railway gauges will have the following national spirit. Ga rail gauges will take half a year for that. That's not good. 
Ooh, let's grab this. Prior to his military oil with the country at war, oil is more vital than ever. While it's useful for many civilian purposes, it is vital for armed forces. As such, we must prioritize oil for military uses first and foremost. Absolutely. Absolutely. Positively, lutely. Um, what else can we do here? Not much else, really, at, for this year. I suppose we can grab this, but maybe field hospitals for divisions. That'd be pretty good as well, since we are killing off quite a few of our own soldiers right now. But honestly, like, these guys have to be doing last stand. There's no way they can stand up to us. There's no way. Fall of Nolans? Well, that sucks for you. We're going straight for Manila. And we landed down here, too. Alright, time to come up here. Good luck, guys. And you guys help link them up so they get some supplies. And you just stay there. Tanaka, you're going to go infantry expert. That's good. Anyone else? Nope. The Fall of Manila. Oh, we actually took Manila. Look at that. Beautiful. Kill them off. And this way, if we can win down here, then the, all they have left is a port, so. And that'll be a very good thing. Another army done and conquered, and they're done. They're completely done. They have literally no way to get some more supplies, so. Beautiful. Cebu is a capital? Yeah, that sucks. I'm gonna have you. And, uh, you can't really navy invade. They have to capitulate soon, right? 112,000 are dead. We've lost about. That's not bad. We were not doing great there, but. Not bad. We got a little bit of action. Oh! We, we should have waited for that, maybe. Oh, crap, that's going to cancel, isn't it? God dang it, why do we have to be at war for that? Why? Uh, military factory is still pretty good to do, though. While our economy is growing, we avoided much of the fall of the Black Monday. Our arms production still isn't what it has the potential to be. By building factories designed specifically for such purposes, we will be able to greatly expand our arms production. We could do that. Let's claim the southern resource areas. Mm, well, we'll do rapid arms expansion first. God dang it. You know, on click, huh? What's going on over here? Demobilize their economy, fate of the Philippines. Don't I want to liberate them? Hmm. Well, we do get a stability hit if we don't liberate them. Hmm. Oh, we can do some stuff here, too. I kind of like this. Uh, we do have carriers. We're focusing quite a bit on carriers, which is good. Uh, let's get some more sub attack, though. That's actually pretty important for subbies. Uh, I think we'll just liberate them. I think it'll be best for now. Our armies have managed to take control of the Philippines, and the archipelago is occupied by us. Should we grant or organize a public government? Yes. Just because we can use their political power, or use their manpower, really. That'd be nice, actually. You will not deny me. I literally just... What? That, that should be fixed in the game or something. Like, there should be much more... You should be able to request garrison support from your puppets no matter what. Especially if they're, like, a fairly integrated puppet like these guys. That literally makes no sense to me, but you know what? Maybe that's just me. But at least we won, right? That's the most important thing to win, and hopefully we can take some more of their civvies, and we can get some resources from them, which is super, super important. Venezuela, where are you? What do you have for us, Venezuela? Venezuela? What am I thinking of Venezuela? They have a little bit of rubber and chromium, which we don't really need, but hey, whatever. Marines. Well, sending them over there would be kind of a waste. Is there anyone else we can send them to? Hey, uh, Kingdom of Spain, there we go. I didn't send any planes, but whatever. Horses, you're very, very valuable. I love the horses, man. Horse boys are good stuff. Marines, you did a great job, too. I'll keep you down here in Taiwan. The Kai Hen Workers Group Incident. How many incidents are we going to have? An underground syndicalist group operating Kai Hen, Tokyo, Yokohama. Region's been uncovered and rest. That's good, right? Good. Yeah, Muto's back. Right, man, I'm ready for more war. Send weapons to our allies? Yes. Yes. Japanese influence is 21%. Which is nice. Very good. War propaganda. That would not be bad to do. Are we still getting weekly stability? I don't think so. No, we're not. Well, we're back helping out other people win their stupid little wars. Because they are not strong enough to do it themselves yet. Good luck. You're going to need it. And we still have no fuel, which is fine, because we need to do this. Train until you're done. And subbies, you do the same thing. Uh, do you have any upgrades, actually? You guys are subbies. Uh, we want probably uh, Lone Wolf. Oh, no, Concealment Expert. Yeah, and Retreat Chance is really, really good. Uh, Naval Mine Avoidance. Yeah, I'll do that one. That's pretty good. And then you guys, Lone Wolf. Enemy penalty fleet size which is pretty good. And then we're going to do air controller maybe later on. But we'll wait for that stuff later on. He's a sea wolf too, huh? 
All right, well, whatever. Overall, not too bad. Not perfect. Wouldn't have liked it like this, maybe to a degree, but not bad, not bad. We still have no fuel, but hey, maybe that stuff will clear up soon enough. Sort of you class, that'll come soon enough, so. There you go. Start working on some of those destroyers, that'd be kind of nice, too. And how are we doing over here? Not too bad. Marines have shown up and help out. Because the Marines, our Marines, are going to be very, very strong. And let's get through one more focus before we end the episode, shall we? Well, when it's ready. When it's good and ready. War propaganda. We will demobilize because that will give us more 50 political power. Which sucks that we have to lose it, but whatever. Um, Air Force stuff? It is 38. It's almost 39. Maybe tank designer would be better. Armor breakthrough. I like that. Production cost goes down. Soft attack. Reliability. Breakthrough. Soft attack exists no matter what. So... Because Breakthrough is only good on an attack. Max speed is not bad, though. Reliability. 15% reliability. And I'll do Hitachi. Why not? It's going to be a little bit ahead of time, but get, grab some dispersed industry. Thank you. We're still out of guns. No, we're actually doing fairly well on guns. Now it's going to wrap up some more artillery production. Maybe some more support equipment as well. So I'm not going to lower this at all, but you just, just come on down a little bit more. There you go. Not bad. And anti-air would be kind of nice, too. And we're going to need some motorized as well. Cool. Not bad. Not bad. And rapid uh, arms expansion. And claim the southern resource area. Now, let's extend the Pacific security zone first. With American chaos, we can ill afford to ignore the opportunity presented. Proposals for creating a Pacific security zone that would extend a reach and protection to the far-flung Pacific positions would have come forward and are now under serious consideration. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow. As we will continue expanding our influence across the Pacific, build up our areas a little bit more, and have a good time overall. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.